Hey friends, I'm Matthew Vegan and today we're going to make pizza pockets. First thing you need to do, you take your flour and just add it to your mixing bowl. In there we're going to go in with a pinch of salt, we're going to give that a little stir. In here we've got 100 millilitres of water. In there we're going to go in with a teaspoon of sugar and a teaspoon of dry action yeast. And then you're going to pour that in slowly to the mixture and we're going to give it a stir. So I'm just going to dust my hands with a little bit of flour and then I'm going to go in and I'm start to knead the dough. So once you've got all the dough combined like that, you've got all the little bits from the edge of the bowl, you're going to dust the surface and we're just going to start to knead it. Basic kneading action, you're pushing the dough away and you're folding it back to you. That's stretching the dough and it's forming gluten bonds, which is going to help it to prove more in a moment when we pop it back into the bowl. And there we go, you're going to end up with this lovely silky dough bowl like so. We're going to pop a tiny bit of olive oil in the bowl, stop it sticking as it rises, and then we're going to pop the dough ball in the bowl. You'd cover that and we're going to leave that for about half an hour. Right, so while that's proven, we're going to make the filling. So we're going to start off with a couple of cloves of garlic. Next thing we're going to chop up is the aubergine. Just going to chop the top off and then we're going to chop it into little cubes. And then we're just going to chop up a couple of tomatoes. So you want to add some olive oil to the pan. Okay, so now you're going to take all your chopped veg and you're just going to slide them into the pan. We're going to fry them for about 10 minutes on a low heat. They're going to get nice and soft, they're going to absorb some of that oil, they're going to be beautifully and tasty. Okay, so now they've all reduced in the pan, we're going to add the nutritional yeast, the oregano, and a generous pinch of salt. Now we're just going to give that stir to combine, and that's going to only need about two more minutes, and we're going to be ready to make our pizza pockets. So now everything's ready, and we've just got to assemble. We're going to take a bit of flour and dust our bacon tray, and just make sure it's fully covered. Now that I've got a covered surface, I'm just going to grab the dough, and pop it in that flour. We're just going to roll it, make, make sure it's covered so it doesn't stick to anything. And then all we're going to do, we're going to press it to cover our baking tray. Now that we've got a big rectangle, all you're going to do is just take a knife and make it into four. So now that we've got four doughs, we're going to take a spoon and spoon in some of our filling. So you see here that I've spooned the filling into the center of the dough. You've got a nice area around the outside to allow us to fold it in. Some beautiful vegan cheese, it's gonna make it nice and melty. Don't overfill it, that's about the right amount. You don't wanna go any more than that, else you're not gonna be able to fold it. Just gonna pop that cheese on top of all four, and then we're just gonna tear a piece of basil onto each. Beautiful, now let's get folding. What you're gonna do, take it at the corners and just fold it over the middle to just cover that topping. So they have your four pizza pockets, they're ready for the oven. You want to cook them on 180 for about 12 minutes. So here we go. Nice little hollow sound on top. They should be nice and crispy on top. Let's give them a taste. So now that's cooled down a little bit. Let's give it a taste. The cheesiness, the aubergine's absolutely perfectly cooked with a nutritional yeast. It's just beautiful. Um, give them a go at home. They're absolutely fun to make with kids as well. Thank you very much. Be nice to each other and goodbye.